Hello everyone, my name is Katie Chan. I'm the founder of the Chocolate Club. I'm also a certified chocolate taster. I used to work for a commercial chocolate company before and I was a product developer. And I, uh, since then, I love chocolate a lot. So I was a product developer before, so I have to find out what kind of chocolate Hong Kong people like. And then I came across a TV channel, Channel 4 uh, from the UK, called there's a, there's a TV program called Wheaties and the Chocolate Factory. And then I find it really fascinated that um, he sold his place uh, in, in the UK and he brought a plantation in Venezuela and started growing cacao and make all the chocolate from scratch. I have been promoting craft chocolate for seven years, but still in Hong Kong, there are not many people know about it. And I think it's very similar to specialty coffee. It is something very niche. And um, so far we uh, find lots of people like craft chocolate. They also like other food and beverage. There are so many reasons that we need to eat craft chocolate. It is because, first of all, it tastes so much better than commercial chocolate um, and the ingredients they use, they use fine cacao that is sourced usually directly or uh, from co-ops uh, co that is like, um, they check all the quality as well and so as for the commercial chocolate, they use bulk cacaos that um, some of them they even use uh, child labour and also we, when we look at the ingredients uh, for craft chocolate, they try to use the least ingredient in um, the chocolate bar. And also, for example, in a dark chocolate, the simplest uh, ingredients you can get can be just cacao and sugar. So what you are eating in the chocolate is all cacao instead of all the artificial flavorings or something that you don't want it to be in the chocolate. Because like when uh, when we first started, we host a little bit of like a few chocolate tasting events and then we start collaborating with different parties or maybe um, maybe coffee shops and tea house and we find that the people who love coffee, tea or even alcohol, they love quality chocolate. So far like we are really focusing in Hong Kong because the trend is actually start from America and Europe. So uh, we would really want to grow the cho fine chocolate community in Hong Kong. So um, luckily, we can have more places that can find uh, craft chocolate nowadays. For example, if you go to City Super, they have a really wide range. Um, Sweet Well, I have to say that uh, we are also like working with them very closely to supply more um, fine chocolate. And also specialty coffee shops as well, that you can find very good um, craft chocolate. Not only that, they also serve um, hot chocolate made from uh, fine chocolate as well. So there are a few terms that you can describe our kind of chocolate. So you can call it um, fine chocolate or craft chocolate. And sometimes you heard you heard a lot of people call um, bean to bar chocolate because bean to bar it means that the chocolate is made by the maker from scratch from roasting the cacao beans and every single step until it becomes a finished bar. Because of COVID nineteen, um, usually like. In normal time, we do our chocolate tasting uh, face to face, like in a space with everyone. And because of COVID-19, we cannot do it anymore. So that's why like a few months ago, we um, created this called virtual chocolate tasting. So uh, you might think, um, how does it work? So basically, we prepare all the chocolate with the tasting mat and all the props um, in, inside this box. And then we send it to all the guests uh, beforehand. And then we do our, all our um, events and tasting uh, online uh, by Zoom. So we can um, all taste the chocolate together at the same time. I would like to introduce uh, Towak Chocolate. This is one of the brands that we are selling in Hong Kong. And uh, it is made in Ecuador and so far it's the most expensive chocolate in the world. And then you might ask why it's so expensive. Uh, first of all, like the cacao they use called National Cacao that is very rare. Uh, in Ecuador and also like it is um, aged in wooden barrels as well for for example this box is been aged in a kind of wood called Andean elder wood um, for three years and then they make it into chocolate 
one of the co-founder, Jerry, he came to Hong Kong and then we met up and talked about his brand and asked if we want to represent them in Hong Kong. And uh, I would love to because it's like when you look at the packaging and the ideas that um, and the effort they put into this brand, it's pretty amazing. So and then um, we worked with Hennessy before uh, with this brand to uh, pair their chocolate with cognac and whiskey. Uh, we did uh, quite a lot of events uh, with this brand before. If you want to get Toa chocolate and try um, Ecuadorian chocolate, you can get it online from our chocolate club uh, online store. I would like to introduce Fuan Chocolate from Taiwan. So Warren, he used to be a chef before and then he discovered um, craft chocolate when he was in honeymoon in Italy. And then he started using um, cacao from Pingdong, so it's in the south of Taiwan, to make chocolate from bean to bar. So not only bean to bar, he also ferments his own beans. So he played around with different uh, fermentation methods. So even though they he used like same batch of chocolate, it can become like lots of different flavors. And he also he loved to use uh, lots of different um, flavors and ingredients that can found in Taiwan. For example, this bar is called Red J T. So uh, we all know that it's very famous um, for tea, you know, in Taiwan. And he used a real, real tea uh, to infuse in his chocolate. So um, it tastes very good. Story uh, for Cat Coco. So it's also started by a couple makers, and then um, originally they are um, lawyers. And then um, there's one time they did like a road trip to Chiang Mai, and they discovered that um, oh, they also grow ca uh, cacao in Chiang Mai. And then uh, they were looking some, some for something different to do. And then um, Natalia, the wife, uh, she start uh, making chocolate from bean to bar. And then um, they, and then a few years ago, they opened like a cafe in the middle of Bangkok that serve delicious chocolate that make from scratch, and also they make um, uh, the desserts with uh, their own chocolate and also delicious drinks as well. So for Cat Coco and Fuwan Chocolate, they are both uh, award-winning chocolates.